To get started, I will be using a pound and a half of small potatoes. You can use the small potato of your choice here. These are multi-colored potatoes and I cut the larger chunks in half for a more even cook time. And what I'm going to do first is par cook them for 15 minutes. By the way, all the ingredients and measurements I'm using in this video will be located in the description below. And I will also add video links to other recipes that you might like. Okay, so I'm just going to make sure all of the potatoes are submerged in the water and cover it with a lid. Again, I will be cooking these for 15 minutes or at least until they are knife tender. Not fork, but knife tender. Okay, it has been 15 minutes. I've drained them out of the water. Here I have them in a bowl and now I'm going to season them. I'm going to start with a couple tablespoons of oil. This is probably around two tablespoons of avocado oil that I'm using. I'm going to give this a good mix. Now once my potatoes are coated in the oil, I'm going to start seasoning them. I'm going to start off with around a quarter teaspoon of salt-free lemon pepper, somewhere between a quarter teaspoon and a half teaspoon. Basically, you want to season your potatoes to taste. And you can season it with any seasonings or spices that you like. Now I'm also going to be adding some Lowry's seasoning salt. You could use plain salt, you could use Creole seasoning, Cajun seasoning, whatever flavors you like. And I'm probably adding around, again, somewhere between a quarter teaspoon and a half teaspoon of seasoning salt, basically to taste. And now I'm going to add some onion powder, and then I'll add a little bit of garlic powder and give everything a good mix. By the way, I didn't mention this earlier, but the potatoes are still warm. They are not boiling hot. I did let them set for around five to 10 minutes on the countertop, but they still are a little warm. The only reason I tell you that, because some of you might be curious, did I just start seasoning them straight out of the boiling water? And actually I didn't, they did set out. But when I'm in a hurry, I do, and it's fine. Okay, the next ingredient I will be using is asparagus. This is just one bunch of asparagus that came banded together. Typically, that's how they sell it in the grocery store. So here, I'm, I'm just putting them, spreading them out on this smaller baking pan, and this is what I'll use to season them in. So first things first, I'm going to go for some more oil, and I'm using avocado oil. You use the oil of your choice, probably around a tablespoon to two tablespoons of oil. And now I am going to add again lemon pepper. If you haven't noticed, I really like the, the lemon flavor in a lot of my bakes. So lemon pepper on. Now I am going to add some garlic powder. And then I'm going to add salt to taste and give this a good mix. Okay, so now that this is combined well, I'm going to move on to preparing my salmon. Today I'm using a little over a pound of salmon. Basically, I just asked for 21 ounces of salmon because I knew I wanted seven pieces. They're three ounce pieces and that's what I have here. Um, this works between a pound and a pound and a half, what I'm doing today. Okay, so my seven pieces of salmon are here and now I'm going to work on my glaze or maybe a sauce. I'm going to be using a quarter cup of Dijon mustard. And by the way, you can season your salmon the way you like. I'm just showing you what I did today. And I'm also going to be adding a tablespoon of maple syrup to the Dijon mustard. Next, I will be adding a teaspoon and a half of this Adams Reserve 
sweet and spicy seafood salmon rub. You can add the seasoning and spices of your choice. You don't have to go and buy that rub, but it really does taste good. And again, you don't even have to use this sauce to put on top of the salmon. Salt and pepper work just fine. So I'm going to give everything a good mix and basically spoon over this sauce on each piece of salmon. Once I'm done adding the sauce to the tops of all my salmon pieces, I'm going to go ahead and start assembling this one pan meal baking sheet. So now that this is arranged on the baking sheet, I'm going to squeeze one small wedge of fresh lemon on top of the potatoes and asparagus. I basically took one large lemon and cut it into eight wedges, and the other wedges I will be arranging them right onto the baking pan. I like the taste of a roasted lemon, and I like to place them in each container of my meal prep. It really goes well with this salmon, asparagus, and potato bake. So I will be baking this in a preheated oven at 450 degrees Fahrenheit for 15 minutes. Okay, and after 15 minutes, here's what my one pan meal looks like. Well, meal prep, I should say. And this is sort of why I called that Dijon um, mixture that I made more of a sauce because it doesn't have like that shiny glazed look, but it's so delicious with the salmon. So what I'm going to do is actually meal prep for the week, at least for a lunch portion. And I'm just going to add some dried parsley, you know, just for color. And I'm just going to separate this into seven containers. So as you can see, I was only able to fit five of these containers on the counter, so I'll do the best I can, but I just wanted to show you sort of how I divide these into lunch portions. By the way, if you are a fan of these one pan meal preps, um, leave a comment below and I will do some more. There's a couple variations that I like to do uh, for lunch preparations for my husband or even myself. This one. It's actually for me this week, but I do a lot sometimes for my husband when he goes to work. It makes his lunch a lot easier, and they are a lot healthier than some of my other recipes, my other comfort food recipes. So if you are interested in seeing those, just leave a comment below, and I will try to get those out for you. So this is pretty much what one lunch will look like. Um, by the way, the, the lemon part, if you're not a fan of lemon, you can leave that out, but I love to squeeze fresh lemon all over this when I eat it. And here's what it looks like. So I am actually going to eat one portion now because I am really hungry for lunch. And honestly, I probably can only eat half of this portion and save the rest for later, but this will definitely help me during the week when I'm rushing around doing things. At least I know lunch is covered. Well, I hope you found this video helpful. I hope you guys give this recipe a try. I hope you like it, and thanks for watching.